Armory Disc Golfer, there's a saying that the point of golf is to play as little golf as possible. And so today, I'm going to try to help you play as little golf as possible by shaving some strokes off of your approach game. Let's get into it. First tip to improve your approach game is to consider the speed of the disc that you're using. All other things being equal, a wide rim disc will have more flare than a shallower rim disc. So for example, a Rock 3, which has a 5403 flight rating, will have less flare than a Firebird, which has a 9403 flight rating. I'll show you what I mean. And which one of these is better for you? Well, it just depends on the hole. So for this hole, the Rock 3 has less flare, which is gonna leave me closer to the basket than the Firebird. Now, if the situation is different, like I was saying, the Firebird may be the better call. You're just gonna to have to make that evaluation on a hole-by-hole -hole basis. My second tip for you guys is to use hyzers to control distance. The basket behind me is in an open field straight away. I could throw a putter straight at it flat and hope that it lands flat in front of the basket. Or I could take an easier route and just throw a hyzer out to the side and let it spike in to control distance that way. This is something you see professionals do all the time. <laughs> Granted, a lot of times they do it from 400 feet, whereas I'm talking about doing it now from 150 to 200, but the same principle still applies. Number three, try to keep your approach shots at one angle if you can. A pure hyzer shot is going to have a lot less variability in it than a flex shot that you're hoping pans correctly and then fades correctly. Reducing variables can reduce strokes on your game as well. Number four, and this is the big money tip of the video in my opinion, is to consider the mistake that you most want to avoid when throwing an approach shot. The basket behind me is perched just in front of a steep drop off behind it that goes to an OB Creek. So for this basket, for example, the mistake that I would want to avoid is to throw the disc too far. Because if I throw it too far, it's in the OB and that's automatically strokes added to the game. So if you're going to make a mistake, leave it a little bit short, don't kill yourself with OB. Same thing goes if there's rough on one side of the basket versus another. If there's OB short, you wanna be sure to clear it and go long. If you have to have a 40 foot putt coming back at it, that's better than landing OB short. Not OB, I have a putt. Number five, and this goes along with my last point. When thinking about the mistake to avoid, think about what the wind is doing. I have a left to right here. I don't like headwind putts, so I want to finish the disc left of the basket if I can that way I have a tailwind putt where you land your approach is going to affect where you have to putt from so you need to consider it Tip number six is to just take what the course gives you. The basket behind me sits at the bottom of a small slope. If I throw 30 feet short, then I'm gonna have a 30 foot putt. But if I throw 30 feet long, 
the disc is just going to check into that little slope and slide back towards the basket or at least check up to where I'd only have a 10 or 15 foot putt even if I miss by 30 feet. So the best miss here is to push it long into the backstop. Number seven, you don't always have to be underneath the basket in order for it to be a good approach. Take for example, this hole right here. There's thick woods on the right. The basket is down here just to the right of this telephone pole. And so what I want to do is to avoid going into the woods early, I can be 15 feet left, 20 feet left, still have a putt to look at it. But if I go in too early, then I'm just gonna have to pitch out and take a four. My next tip is continuing down this train of reducing variance in your game, and that's to select discs that have low glide and more stability. These discs are going to float past your target less, they're very predictable, they may not be best for maximum distance situation, but for approaching, there's a reason that people for years have gone to discs like the Zone or the Pig. Now that's not to say that straight flying discs or flippy discs don't have a spot in your approach game. I have a PA4 that I love throwing all over the place. Putters go straight and you need those sometimes. But missing my angle with a PA4 by 10 degrees could be the difference in it drifting right and never coming back. Whereas if I throw my pig or an A2, the two overstable discs that I like to throw, if I miss my angle by 10 degrees, it's still gonna fade out and come back at the end of the flight. It's predictable and it reduces variance. You can approach in a ton of different ways. You can make Firebird's S-curve and land perfectly flat. You can get PA4s to hold hyzers if you throw them steep enough, etc. This is about reducing variance over the course of many different throws across many different rounds to improve your game overall. So while you can approach the course however you see fit, that's some of the fun of disc golf, reducing variance in your game is ultimately going to make you a more consistent and therefore a better player. Tip number nine, putters in general are the straightest discs in disc golf. So if you have an approach shot that you just have to laser something straight, a putter is a worthwhile investment to learn how to throw. Take for example, the shot behind me. Tenth, my final sort of bonus tip to you guys is to combine a lot of things that I've told you and just throw a berg. Now it doesn't have to actually be a Berg, but there are only a very few discs on the market that are like it. A low glide disc that has some torque resistance, it's not gonna turn over on you out of nowhere. It's not just gonna glide past the basket where you're aiming. The, the Berg, the Polecat, and a third disc that is really growing on me that I find myself throwing more and more is this Lone Star Disc Armadillo. So give one of those a try. Hopefully one of those discs or one of these tips or many of them shave some strokes off of your approach game. Like, comment if I missed something or if you would like to add something to the discussion and subscribe because we've got more videos heading your way. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. And until then, fight the good fight.